Good afternoon to you. Happy Labor Day. The third day, I think, of September 2012. And today already, I haven't combed my hair yet. Sorry, it looks like crap. Today already is uh, better than yesterday. Yeah, lots of clouds, a few dark ones up there. But, uh, you know, we'll take it. This is the end of Isaac working its way out here. It's uh, about 83 degrees with very high humidity. Feels like 87 according to the Weather Channel app. And I didn't think we were going to make it to the pool today, but it looks like we are. We may get rained out. I don't care. We're going to go. That's the good news. I did not mention in yesterday's vlog. By the way, I moved over there and the, the other house, so I got two yards down over there. Good, good, good. But in a storm we had a couple days ago, uh, a tree fell and hit the corner of that house right there. Um, if you can see, the roof on the far right is all stoved in. Part of the siding is hanging down. Nobody was hurt because it was the garage roof, but it ended up hitting the garage roof, did the most damage there, hit the porch roof a little bit, and then up in this corner, it, uh, it hit a little bit as well. So I feel so bad for them because they have always had probably the nicest kept house on this street, beautiful yard, landscaping. They work so hard to keep that that house and property very nice and you know, immaculate, and then something like that happens. And, and oh God, that's gonna be like a $60,000 repair to have to tear the roof off and rebuild it, and uh, it sucks. But I'm sure they'll do it, and I'm sure they'll do it right, and everybody was okay, and that's what matters. Just a reminder of what can very easily happen, though. I mean, look, we live at the edge of a woods line here, and we have trees that size. If that one goes down and goes into the house, I don't even know what's going to happen, because my bedroom's back there, and that would do a significant amount of damage, which I don't even want to think about. But usually we have some trees come down, you know. Um, I remember the week I got my iPhone, uh, whatever that week was in June 2010, the iPhone 4, we had uh, a maple tree, I think most of it's still there, but a huge part of it came out and came down and took down part of this, I think this is an elm or something, and landed here. And uh, it took us like four hours with a small chainsaw and just my dad and I to cut that thing up and, and get rid of it. But luckily uh, it didn't touch anything of value aside from some trees. Got a text from Kenan. He's ready to go to the pool in 10 minutes, so I'm going to leave in about seven minutes. Uh, go pick him up. I think we're going to hit Panera, get something to eat real quick for brunch. Get over there pretty early. It's uh, 1225, so we should be at the pool shortly after 1. And uh, we'll stay until it rains or we get tired of the freezing water because the heater's still broken. And uh, that means the water's about 75, but we'll have to grin and bear it. Okay, it is now 5.15. I apologize for the lack of footage so far today. Uh, this happened. It rained for just that much for five minutes, but the pool was awesome. The water wasn't as bad. The heater's still out, but it wasn't freezing. Um, we got some good volleyball games in. Really great day. So now I'm gonna head to dinner with my mom, sister, and grandmother. And uh, I don't know for sure what's going on tonight yet, so there's only one way to find out. Stay tuned. So this is going to be the last time at the pool for the 2012 season, parked right here under my light. Now, I'm going to say this. I will be back Memorial Day weekend, so that'll be the last, I think, what is that, the last weekend in May 2013, so uh, whatever, six months. And I'm going to park right here, or I'm going to try to, and I'm going to film that light pole. So we will see you next Memorial Day. Today's Labor Day. All right, check it out. We're talking to Mike here on Skype. It is 11.34, which means I need to start wrapping things up because classes resume tomorrow at KSU. So anyways, uh, talking with Mike about uh, data doublers and hard drives and SSDs and stuff on his MacBook Pro. Um, what else did we do today? Pool was awesome. Really good day. Uh, dinner was good. We had ice cream, came home, Cannon came over for a little bit, and I have been watching a new series online, thanks to Mike from the Tekken 5 podcast. Um, Michael and Cabo, thank you very much. And here it is. Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Check it out. It's comediansincarsgettingcoffee.com. It's, it's Jerry Seinfeld 
which uh, I love Seinfeld, so the, the sitcom from the 80s and 90s, I guess. But anyways, it's a pretty funny, good, comical show, and it's free, and it's online. They're like 10, 12, 13-minute episodes, and I think there's maybe five or six, seven of them up. And uh, they're really excellent, so I recommend that you go check that out. All right, 11.36, and uh, I want to get this edited and uploaded before anything else happens. I cleaned up my desk. Check this out. There, I took all that out. That's all the cycling. So that's it for today. Hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. Get back to work, classes, or whatever you're doing this week. Hope it goes well for you. Uh, here actually looks pretty crappy uh, part of the week. Tomorrow thunderstorms and Saturday 68 and thunderstorms that's getting cool but we've got some nice time in there so maybe I'll clean the car up then or whatever but uh, 74 right now which is more than comfortable anyways that's it for me talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday good night